Can I help you? Oh, yes, uh, they came to check your air filters. Um, I'm not sure. This is 3 uh, 8277. Oh, nobody's home right now. You'll we'll have to wait until another day. Oh, uh, much appreciated. Uh, AG 872 <laughs> Shalom, this is the brother Azan Amoth back at you with another lesson. I pray this lesson is edifying to the lambs, the sheep of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh and the Messiah, his son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who do but well. And Shalom to all my brothers, the Akim, and a few Aqua that are listening. And as we just seen in this opening, all right, doors are getting kicked in. And when Ezra asked the angel that revealed the days of devastation, he said, woe is me, woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? All right, and as a matter of fact, Okay, we can open up with the 16th chapter of 2nd Edris to match reality to prophecy because that's a question we've been asking is what will you do, okay, in a situation when you're taken hostage and no one comes to your aid? Will you rely on the guidance and strength, okay, the wisdom of the Most High or in your deception where you rely on your self-defense, right? Your guns, which may work for a hot moment until you're overwhelmed by the sword, okay? By these strangers seeking to spoil whosoever they prey upon, which may include your children, okay? So the scriptures are coming to life. They're literally jumping out of the book. This is 2nd Edward 16 and 46. For strangers shall reap their fruits and spoil their goods, overthrow their houses, and take their children captives. For in captivity and famine shall they get children. You see, so we're back at it again. More events happening. Just alone in the month of April, the wicked opening up CERN, blood moons, earthquakes in Taiwan and Madrid, bridges collapsing, okay, etc., and etc. And as you can see, more of this is happening. Home invasions will increase. All right, the Lord said in 1 Peter 5 and 8, be sober, be vigilant, because the adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. And people are going to get devoured when these things are legal. All right, Esau is the law. And if he allows America to be lawless, who's going to protect you? All right, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh that's it. And when Yahweh Bashim Yahweh opens up, okay, on these unjust societies, the crime rates all across America, they're going to rise. Okay, more reports of insurrection are going to come out. Whereas you may think that the double bolted door in your house is going to protect you. Okay, or the biometric security system. Okay, your cameras are going to help you. None of that's going to help. Because the Lord said in the end times, he would visit the earth and that he would hold his tongue no more as touching wickedness. So it's apparent, okay, or obvious that this time for the sword and the destruction draw off nigh. Draw off nigh for who? The people of Babylon the Great. And one people shall stand up and fight against another in swords in their hands. And these swords are dropped off in neighborhoods by government officials for you to kill yourselves. We look at this woman right here. You know, she's pretty attractive. Well, she's a prey. She's an easy target. All right, these men are prepared to follow you home or to spy on you. Okay, so they can kick in your doors and take what they want. And that's not only goods. Okay? If you can pick up what I'm putting down, they're going to take what they want. So no matter how much you disagree, 
take it up with the Lord because you see it. We showing you visuals. The sword is coming because it's prophetic. Okay, these atrocities will take place. This is 2nd Edris 16 and 47. And they that occupy their merchandise with robbery, the more they deck their cities, their houses, their possessions, and their own persons. You see? So they're not going to care if you're old or young. They're still coming to take. To take. All right, so vulnerability will be at an all high when these things kick off. The scripture said, they will occupy your merchandise with robbery. Okay? That's what this is. Wild bulls, okay, with loaded weapons. Okay, are your eyes lying? Or do you see men with masks on their faces creeping up and hiding themselves, being mischievous, right? Tracking where you dwell at and marking them for targets. That's Psalms 56. You're going to be marked for a target if you don't have Yahweh by Shemi Havashai. This is Psalms 56 and 6. Let's just read it. They gather themselves together. They hide themselves. They mark my steps when they wait for my soul. So they're marking your steps and waiting for your soul. Okay? This isn't fear-mongering. These epistles aren't manufactured to manipulate the truth. Okay, these aren't exaggerated rumors of impending danger. This thing is about to go down. So we do these videos out of love. Okay, not no reaction. Don't come on the comment boards telling me how you feel. Get out of your feelings and look what you're witnessing. Okay, right? I posted last week on Fox News and it said illegal thieves cross borders with high tech skimmers to drain American bank accounts. So the comforts of this place is about to be shaken. The FBI admitted that Venezuela emptied out their prisons and sent their inmates to the United States. Okay? So this place is an illusion of freedom. We're in a prison house ran by crooked government agencies that's about to double down on organized legal manhunts. This is why they make movies like The Purge, which pretty much is a documentary. Okay, basically it's a trailer to the movie when it's on full display. We're witnessing more frequent acts of violence on all levels without criminal prosecution. There is no freedom here. Okay, they're letting agents and domestic terrorists come over here to take from you. Brought over by the feds to destabilize local government okay and when we go into that word destabilize the meaning is to make unstable to cause something such as the government to be incapable of functioning or surviving okay to cause unrest which is civil unrest okay which is going into these sporadic violent crimes that we're witnessing right you can have all the cameras they're not going to care all right these insurgents are just beginning. Things are going to increase as long as these laws continue to soften up. Okay, again, unstable, said to be incapable of functioning or surviving. The no bail law is already in effect. We've been reporting these cases and crimes. Okay, now you got a man who's posing as a utility worker to gain access into the home, right? Now, if he would have got inside, it could have been a crime scene in there. Okay? And it looks something like this. Right? This is why it says in 2nd Edges 15 and 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Not just the lack of bread, right? The famine. Shall there be violence? But it also said, for great tribulation the suffering right so if these people aren't in tune to prophecy and you just being nice giving whoever knocks on your door the benefit of the doubt right that's a lack of awareness and it can cost you your life 
That's why the scripture says in Isaiah 33 and 6, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Because let's face it, many people don't have discernment. America has made these people soft and gullible. They don't relate to the Bible. No one is picking up the Bible and looking at prophecy and saying, this may happen to me. Right? In the meantime, you got criminals prepared to kick down doors, as we saw. Aggravated assaults are going to be on the rise. And a lot of these attacks are political driven to usher in radical insurrections to bring in Orba uh, Kyle, all right, order out of chaos. That's the destabilizing effect. All right, they're going to make it clear either you're going to get down or lay down to subscribe to their agenda, which is no mercy. Egyptian against Egyptian. And we keep telling you they need you to rely on the government for help. But we already know that we're going to rely on Yahweh Shai at all times, walking by faith and not by sight, who we've made our bodies as a living sacrifice. That's who we're going to depend on because the days to come is what we're going to have to endure. Right? If this comes to your door. Okay? Second address 2 and 47. Let's read that. It says, So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of God whom they have confessed to the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. We hold on to that. Standing stiffly so we're protected if these things happen to us. We've given our lives to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We've given everything to the Heavenly Father. We expect the Lord to listen to us when we call on Him. Regardless if and when we see the wicked give the green light. All right, which is ultimately executed by the Most High, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, to bring the sword pursuant to Jacob's trouble. The Lord is the author of this movie. Okay? So when Esau lets loose and his enemies bust through doors, you may have a gun. You may have two guns. But what's going to happen when you run out of bullets? So bowing down is not an option. We've been oppressed by oppositions. But preparing ourselves for when these days come is a testament to faith. All right? Additions to Esther 4 and 5. Seeing that when we understand that this people alone is continually in opposition unto all men. We're in opposition to all men. I'm speaking about the hopeful elect. Okay? Proverbs 4 and 16. For they sleep not except they have done mischief and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. Many cases of people are about to fall. This is why I provide video. Because we ain't selling wolf tickets. This is happening. E is using seditious rebels to bring rebellion. Okay? Proverbs 4 and 17. For they eat the bread of wickedness and they drink the wine of violence. That's right, wine of violence. Not strong drink. So his subversive methods. He's going to stir up conflict by these mutinous acts of violence. And while everyone is distracted, eating, drinking, and being married. Okay? When the anarchy is let loose, the sword is going to be heavy. And the scriptures say that Egypt shall mourn. Babylon is Egypt. It says that in the book of Revelations. And this place is going to mourn. Okay? No bomb shall heal this place. Nation rising up against nation is upon us. It's close. And this is music to our ears. The more we see accounts of savagery, brutalist, exercising their right to put hell on people of America, it's going to be their right to do this. And we all know that fear has always been the weapon that Babylon the Great relentlessly relinquishes on his people. This is the beginning of many sorrows. So I hope this lesson has been edifying, okay, to the sheep of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And we're straight to the point. This is the brother Azan Ha'amath. 
on to the next. Shalom, wa ababa ball.